You know, I life after therapy. You know what I look forward to? What's the Guys, news? Um, uh, after the season, I've decided to. So she doesn't get like told that your dad's useless or. You or know. like your dad is HIT. Yeah, it's just, it's intense in your mind. What does life look like after rugby? After rugby? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I know, but, you know, just keep it to myself. Yeah. You're not meant to tell you with a lot of people, though. With um, myself, obviously you guys know that I'm Christian, and so what, like, a Christian does when asking for vision or asking for next steps or a life that is led by faith like you know when you walk by faith and not by sight it's kind of like a, it's very interesting because like i do plan to keep on vlogging you'll probably see what happens it's cool because you'll be able to like come along on that journey and see what life looks like after rugby and um if you've been watching my vlogs recently you would know that i've been praying i've been praying for quite a while now maybe like over a year um vision and asking god like what's next and stuff and it's cool because with god he never tells you what's what is going to happen you just kind of like take each step as it comes and right now he's given steps for me and obviously there's steps for all us but it's gonna be like an adventure to like live out and so before there was like a lot of fear that was attached to that question but now it's kind of like I am excited to see what's going to happen after like life after rugby and I think there's like the excitement's kicking in for me and like expectation and stuff and so we don't know but it will be cool because you guys can come along on the journey and find out with us You know uh, life after rugby you know what I look forward to like the pressures of performing at a high level. Sorry? What like, I look mean? forward to not feeling the pressures of performing at a high level. Like, mentally, that's exhausting. Oh my like, that's gosh. all you think about, like, you gotta perform this Saturday, you gotta perform this Saturday, you gotta turn up training, perform, perform, perform. You gotta, like, you know, everyone's watching, like, this is, like, yeah, it's just, it's intense in your mind. Mm, don't know, think like, people may, like people may not admit it or say it, but it is it's hardcore, like a lot of pressure. Mm, I've never really I've never really thought about that to be honest. Like yeah, it, it would because like you you're you're on display for like the whole world to see and like because the whole game is filmed from beginning to end and there's what so many cameras are on you guys different angles different everything it's like you see the best part of others in it but then you also see the worst part of others yeah but to be honest i don't even like when i like i only put that pressure on myself because of myself because when i if i play better than that i'm hard on myself so like i don't like feel that pressure because of people or whatever, or like, you know, sometimes because of coaching and selection and stuff, but I hate, I hate myself when I play bad or I, I make one little mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, you know how I, I am when I, when that happens. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know how you said like not many people, not many people will admit it? But do you think it's because like not many people talk about it? Yeah, it's not, yeah. I reckon, I feel like I feel like when people look from the outside in and they see professional rugby players, they look at them like they have like they have it all together. They got the life. They got this. They got that. But I feel like a lot of the public don't actually understand how much weight like rugby players like carry in the families. Like they just 
look at these like successful well-off families or whatever but they actually don't realize like what families go through when when uh you know when partners have like serious injuries like for instance like fats and tatiana like they're literally he's not playing rugby anymore does it does that actually like affect people's mental health like rugby players and their mental health what like say if there's a bad article that goes out like does it get to boys or is it depending on the person not naming anyone or thinking about anyone just in general yeah it does how are you gonna get to everyone it just depends on yeah, it would get to your me. environment who's around you what type of pressures on you yeah, like you said, like now that like I thought has been in high school, that even that's in oh my, my gosh. mind. Oh gosh, I know, man. Even that's in my mind for me to play good. <sighs> oh my gosh, I for hate her. that. I for her. Yeah, so she doesn't get like told that your dad's useless or or know. like your dad's S H I T. Yeah. Or your dad's. So like, like even that's in my mind to be like try and carve up so she doesn't get you know comments like that at school. And I, it's so funny because I, I always wondered like, wonder if, um, wonder what Ato's gonna be like when she, like when she goes to high school and she's at that age where she understands like, daddy's on TV, like daddy plays for this, and she understands that other people know her, who her dad is. I always wondered, and now that she's in this, in this realm, and I see like how she's. I see like how she's um coping like it even it even gets to her a little bit but she's such a I feel like she's she's handling it well well I hope she's handling it well yeah like you have to have thick skin you have to have she has to have thick skin mm. going but I love it because Ato naturally like she didn't have thick skin but I feel like her skin is growing thick which which I love to see because this world can be like the oppressing. What's your favorite age in raising, raising the girls? Uh, three to eight. What? Really? Yeah. Three to eight. That's I find it the hardest age. God is so kind that He would allow that to be your strength. Well, that's my weakness because I've been looking at myself. I'm like, I'm not really good with like. I struggle around like Miriam's age. I feel like Stina's coming out of the age where I struggle. Yeah. But like, yeah, I. So that's why. Because. I find it so hard. Because it's like. I don't know. Is it funny the things they say? Yeah, but like. From one to three, they're just babies. And like you just, they're just babies. You just treat them like a baby, but they just yeah. really, they just want their mum. And then from like eight, nine onwards, they step, they become, start becoming young women. Like they start to think older. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, so you, that's, that's so what you struggle with. So, oh. so their age group, when they're, they're, they're like still babies, but they like understand. They can talk to you and you can have conversations, but as still like young. Yeah. Yeah. That's the age. Yeah. Um okay, cool. True. Um, what is the hardest thing about watching Atu grow up? Like, you know, the whole from being a young girl to like now like a young lady. What's um, the hardest thing? Everything. <laughs> Do you remember when we were going through that phase and you were like you were like it's I remember, oh, there was this, like, stage that he went through and he would, like, message his older sister and he'd be like, oh my gosh, like, these changes are happening with her. Like, is this normal? Is it normal that she's doing A, B, and C? Is it normal that she's, like, spending a little bit more time, like, taking care of her appearance, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that was so funny and so sweet to watch. Everything, just like... Taking 10 years to get ready. <sighs> I reckon not having control, starting to lose control of like things. Like what? Huh? 
like she's got more of a mind like she's starting yeah. to like think yeah go her own mind yeah yeah just having she's starting to have more control over herself like she's I don't want all the control like she's got like a wee life doesn't she she's like oh dad I got this I got this birthday I want this hangout or can I do this can I do that but it's so cute though because like a thing where Atho and Willis bond she goes to all his games like home games so we'll just be like them two sometimes I will just stay home with the little ones just because it's like so cold and stuff and I prefer to watch on TV but she will like go with her dad take um take two friends and she'll just so at least she's doing things like that with you, you know? She's not too cool to not hang out with her dad. She's not hanging out with me. She just wants to come and put on her Instagram. <laughs> oh my gosh. And if you've been following us, I didn't I never said like that was what socials now but she's got socials now okay so that's gonna be the end of our sit down vlog because my phone my camera is about to die so thank you so much for kicking with us for chatting with us for hanging out with us it's been ages and if you've been waiting for such a long time for this then uh, you're making my outro ugly okay so thank you so much for watching us and don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow the journey Bye guys. Can I say bye? Bye. See you guys later. I'll see oh. you in about 12 months. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot to tell them the news. Can you tell oh. the news? Okay. Come here, please. Okay. Okay. What's the news? What's the news? What's the guys, news? Um, uh, after the season, I've decided to retire. Um, just want to go home now. Too many injuries, and I'm ready to go home. Saka! Here's our news. We have another baby coming. And it's a. Uh... Another girl. Woohoo! Oh my gosh! It's finally out there. Now you know. So you guys are the first to know, okay? Yes. Because. Baby coming in March. Princess Halaholo number five. Oh, just yay. meant to be. I know I'm not. <laughs> oh well. Bye.